Hello everybody, and I'm going to be restoring this uh, 1957 uh, Chevy, uh, what is it, a mild street, yeah. Um, I don't know what happened to the last live stream, I tried to live stream it and it booted me off the internet because of the weather, I'm um, sorry for that. Uh, in the last live stream we uh, re-restored this um, LX, uh, 550 I don't know what it's originally called in real life looks like a Bentley uh, but yeah uh, I don't know I'm just a sucker for old cars I literally just uh, I got on this game went to the junkyard and this thing was looking straight at me and I just couldn't pass it up so let's uh let's go and start the restore so let's get it over there and skip get the uh, let's see where's the welder at here it is get the welder over there and the interior cleaner there we go alright I'm going to start taking all these bad rusty parts off I probably am going to make this like a um, kind of like a hot rod looking car because I'll probably put a bigger engine in it but I don't know yet. Take out all the windows. It's already looking 10 times better with everything off of it. Um, yeah. So I should take the battery out while we're at it. Go ahead and put the battery on charger. Um. I'm gonna look at the engines that I can put in this while I pull up the uh, comment section on my phone. Give me one second. Yeah, I tried uh, live streaming literally just a second ago and uh, it uh, kicked me off because I didn't know. Hey, Levi. Um, so I can put a supercharged in it and a Hemi um, which one do we want to put in it so I can basically put almost any V8 in it so I want to look at which one has more horsepower the supercharged 2 carb or the uh, mag or the Hemi I think the mag does but I could be wrong so let's go over here, V8. Um, here's the V8 carb, 330 horsepower. Uh, here's this one. So 380 is what this one produces. Um, and let's see. V8 Hemi. 425 so I think we'll probably put the Hemi in it I think that's what we're going to putting in it probably or here's this V8 Hemi that's the same thing in it this one's older no that one, I think that one's got to be the one that goes in it uh, let's see Yeah, so we're going to put the uh, V8 Hemi in it. I think that's the one I can put in it. Let's make sure. Yep. Alright. So let's start getting this engine put together. So I need a V8 engine block C. Oh, look, I've already built one of these before. Uh, 
Um, gonna need one of them, one of them. I uh, need a crankshaft, an engine block, an oil pan, water pump. gonna need piston rings and I'm gonna need eight of them I think yeah alright let's type in the same thing for this in here Forgot to grab the gear, so it's fine. Let's go and get all the piston put in. So I need a ignition coil B, ignition distributor, and a fuel filter. So I need an ignition coil. Alright, so I need an ignition distributor. I need a, I think this is what I need. I do believe one of these um I'm trying to think here um fuel fuel filter on the new pump um no oh, I know what I need to do let me go and get a get the uh, the clips. We'll get four of each, so I know what I got. No, nope, I didn't get one of them. I figured I didn't. I didn't know what it took for a second. Here. I always forget the clips. I wanted to make sure I got the clips put on. Alright, now what is this? Engine head. So V8. V8. And instead of C, it's H. Okay, so I'm gonna need one of these, 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 two of these, one of these, one of these. I forgot to grab spark plugs, so I was at it. Might as well go and get them. I know I need to get the push rods for it, but I'll get that in just a second. Don't put the manifold on it. Uh, what kind of 
Go put the flywheel while we're headed over to the other side. I'll put the rods in last. I'm gonna keep one of them spark plugs that you unplugged. And we'll wait for that too. Alright, what kind of rods these take? Push rods. F. I need 16 of these. Because you get two of these per piston. A little annoying putting in, but because there's so many and it's so small, and you gotta get that little dot on it. But this game's a lot easier on PC. Plus, you can get a lot cooler cars on PC with mods and stuff. I'm thinking about getting this game on my laptop. Rocker arms. You can't get rocker arms in this one, can you? Nope. I'm gonna say it said F or H. I'm gonna buy two H ones. And then I'm gonna buy eight of these. Yep. I don't know how many it takes. Oh, I guess I didn't need none. Um, uh, can I zoom in, please? There we go. There's two more. Alright, what kind of head covers does this thing take? Engine head cover B. B is your head cover A, that's what it is. We're almost done. I just gotta get all the uh um belts and uh, gears put on the front there. And... All right, we'll put that on in a second. What kind of ignition wire? I'm gonna need. I think I'm gonna need coils, aren't I? I don't know. Uh, something eight. Ain't it? Yeah, V eight H. You can't get these here, can you? No, that sucks. Yes. All right, H. Um. Let's see. There they are. I think these are it. 
Oh, you could. I'm so dumb. Already had them too. Oh, I don't have an air filter base. that this one up then move the cap I've always loved the chrome on these alright now gotta get cam gears oh. always hate to put these on and I need idle rollers Five of each, and then an alternator. No, oh, and I need uh, oil filter. I think it's at sixteen. Yeah. Or, nope, it just said V8. I don't know why I said it. I thought it said 16 V8. Duh, it matches the engine. Sort of. What? What? Timing chain F. I'm trying to find. Which? Timing chain F. Wait, hold up. Let me gear V A O H. Oh no, shoot. Um, V A O H F. Here we go. There. So we got H, C's, and F parts all over this thing. And I need a water pump pulley. Power steering pump. Actually, I can get one of them from the. So I need power steering pump. Crankshaft pulley, a water pump pulley, and an alternator. All right, uh, sixteen. Um, power steering pump. Uh, I'll say it's this one. I think, ain't it? Nope. F. And then, what is it? Something else. Oh, pulleys. You can't get pulleys on here, can you? Nope. What? Is that not how it's spelled? Or am I missing an E? Yeah, I am. I'm dumb. Let me double check, make sure you can't get it here. Pulley. Nope. Uh, crankshaft. 
And water pump all in. Nope, wrong one. There's that one. There's that one. Oh shoot, I forgot I had a fan on this. Let's type in fan. B. So now I just gotta flip the engine over and put everything else in it. So I need three crankshaft bearings and eight bearings. Wait, hold up. I need rod caps. I'll just type in cap. Oh shoot, I just needed three of them. Oh, oh well. Uh, and there's another cap I need. Where is it at? Is it this? No. I don't think. No, this is what I need. I need eight of these. There we go. What? Crankshaft bearing cap. Oh, here it is. Three of these. Is that? Is that one? I kind of can't wait to hear this car run. I know this ain't the first time I've built this exact engine, but... I don't know. I just really like it. I've always liked this type of engine. Parts notes. I don't know what that even means, but okay. Uh... Go ahead and put oil on it. Alright, can I? Nope, I guess not. That's fine. Um, gotta put the car on the rack. Get this moved over here. Oh shoot! I could probably check my comments now in a second. Take that one off. There is no. Like, I'm going to take the fuel tank off. Actually, I'm going to go and replace the fuel tank. Fuel. Because I got a perfect view of it right now. I'm going to buy 16B because I'm pretty sure that's what it's probably going to take. Because it's being weird. Nope, it actually just takes a normal one. All right, all right. Uh, drive shaft. I'm gonna replace this engine. And I'll check my comments. All right. No, let's drop this baby on the ground. I really hope there ain't no oil in it. Nope. Guess not. Take that out. That out. And there we go. 
All right, um, we're actually gonna do the same thing we did to the other car. We're gonna take out the whole front suspension. Mm -hmm. Actually, are we? Do we really wanna do that before we put them? Yeah, let's actually do that. Actually, hold up, before we do this. Sell everything so we have enough room. Sell that old engine that we ain't gonna use. I know I can literally just go to the table and repair parts, but I'd rather not do that. Right, I'm gonna check my comments real quick. Hey, can I get a shout out? Because I don't have much subscribers on YouTube channel. Uh, shout out to the channel content for you. Go ahead and subscribe to that channel. Alright, uh, let's get the whole. Alright, so I need brakes. I'm just gonna. I've already seen a glimpse of the back suspension, so I don't think that it takes the same brakes. So I'm just gonna get two of everything here. Wheel hub cap. Wheel hub cap. Two wheel bearings. Uh, two wheel hub caps. Um, front wheel hub. Two of them. We need two inner tie rods, two outer tie rods. Uh, I'm only gonna need two leaf springs. I already know that. Um, Alright. Well, hub. Front axle and knuckle cover. Two of these. Front housing steering C. Uh, here it is. Once I figure out um, upper suspension arm, double wishbone shock absorber. Alright. Way bar B. Alright. Um, hold up. Double wishbone stock absorber. Two of them. Um, two of these. I don't think I actually need these, but I'm gonna go get them anyways. Um, And I need way bar to these. Bottom suspension arm and upper suspension arm. And E. Alright. Now I should have almost everything I need besides the sway bar. But I'm going to go ahead and buy just both of them and call it good. Alright. Uh, oh. Lower suspension arm. And what was the other one? <sighs> Lower. Alright, that's that. I'm talking about broken. Bottom suspension arm. Alright, that's what it is. Those are at the top, ain't they? Yeah, here they are. Two. And I need all the way down here. Give me like 10 of each. Even though I'm probably going to need more than that. I'll actually get 20 of these ones. There we go. Alright. Now we can fully take out everything. Mm 
Oh, and I need a steering rack. My bad. Let's go ahead and buy one of them because I don't feel like uh, being too confused. Once I get all these parts off, I'll be able to put this thing back together in like no time. Probably won't take me two minutes to put the whole thing back together. Take this off. Take that off. Take this off. Means we can take this off, and then the inner tie rod, the steering rack, and then the suspension rod. There we go. So that's all clean now. Thank God. Now, join parts. Take, join the, put the suspension back together. Alright, there we go. Alright, put this whole suspension back together. Yes, yes. I'm gonna go put all the bushings in it. There we go. Now, steering rack, uh, front sway bar. What's this? Shoot. Uh, shock absorber. Oh, hold up. What? I only bought one of them, didn't I? Nope, I didn't buy none. Hold up. Upper suspension on. I thought I could have swore about two of them. about that part. There we go. This side's ready for a wheel. Alright, go back over to this side. Put that on it. Alright. Sway bar. go all right now let's drop it now that it's ready for the engine uh, take install Brand new engine. Now that looks super nice in there. Let's 
go and fill up all oil. Fill up full of oil, and then I need to get a transmission put in it. I'd like to get the transmission as soon as possible. There we go. What am I missing now? I'm missing a battery. A brake server. I need to get that brake server in there now. Alright, see. So, um. Oh, radiator. See. Red. I hope everybody had a great New Year's. I know I did. It was alright. I didn't watch the ball drop or anything, but, you know. So that's fun. Not a big Chevy guy either. I just, uh, I don't know. When it comes to old Chevys like this, I just can't help myself. I just fall in love with them. Oh shoot, I thought I forgot about these headlights. Or that headlight. Alright, there we go. Put that up. And a gearbox V8 F. I'm actually really like excited to see how much horsepower the thing's gonna be pushing out. I'm gonna say it's gonna be pushing around around 550. That's my guess. Around 550. Starter V8. Start. Shoot. V8. Alright. Metal muffler. Hold up. Oh. Oh shoot. Give me one second. Oh, here we go. So what I need? Front exhaust pipe. V8. V8. Oh. Where's it at? Here's V8. Here it is. Metal muffler is going to be straight, straight, ain't it? Yeah, here it is. This car is going to look clean when I'm done with it. I might actually keep this stock collar. No, I ain't gonna put the drive shaft on just yet. Rear muffler V8. Rear muffler. Also, I'll be able to see what I see it is. Wait, well, yeah, once I see it, I knew what it was gonna look like. There we go. Now all I gotta do is replace his back suspension, which ain't gonna take no time. And then mm. once I get that done, this car is ready to be put back together fully. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna sell everything that's less than ninety-nine. They got all these good parts. Alright. Go here. I'm gonna go to brakes. And I'm gonna buy two of these. And two of these. Because I know I'm gonna need them. And I'm gonna need two brake drums. And I'm gonna go to suspension. And I know I'm going to need one of these. already got that. I'm going to need two of these. And probably 
think they're air, but I could be wrong. I think I'm gonna need two of these. All right. Yep, I know I was gonna need one of them. Brakes. Wait, which ones are the shock absorber be? Nope, I was wrong. There we go. B. Here we go. I know there's a lot of people who like play this game for like years who probably if they ever came across my videos they would cringe because of how I keep having to search up the parts instead of knowing exactly where they are. One side's completely off. Wheel Hub 4. Did I ever buy that? I don't think I did. Nope. Wait a second, I think I bought the wrong housing, didn't I? No, I, I think I got the right one. Time to put it all back together. Now we gotta get to the other side. But while we're at it, we'll go ahead and wait a second. Do you not have to put suspension or springs on it? Well, I guess you don't. <laughs> Thought you did. Alright. 
Well, there we go. All right, now we're just ready for wheels. Rim Retro 12, 15s. License plates. Where are you gonna get? Hmm. Hmm. No, we're gonna get South Carolina plates. All right. Rim retro. No, Rim Retro Twelve Fifteen. I do believe. And then white walled wheels, uh, two hundred five seventy five fifteens. Fifteens, two hundred five seventy five. And then we're gonna get two of them, fifteen to thirty-five. Actually, we're going to just go to two twenty-five. We're gonna put. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just do what we always do and put the front ones on first. Tape. I really hope it does look good. I really like that blue collar that they got going on there. Yeah, you can't even tell the difference, I don't think. All of this looks small when the fender ain't on the car. Move card A. All right. All right. We already got the plate. So it's called the Del Delray Custom. All right. Don't 
Delray. Custom. Shoot, I bought two of them. Well, maybe you do, because it is a... No, this is a two, but no, I'm just dumb. Uh, uh, assembly mode. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a four door. That looks good. Can I not? That's so dumb. I literally just try to put the window on. Oh, uh, you gotta put the door on first. So. One shield on there. Back glass. Go. Your bumper. Actually, I have another collar in mind for this vehicle. I can't remember if I put a new one on. Yeah, there we go. Move car to the paint shop. Now you can get liveries on it. I don't know how to feel about the liveries. Yeah, we're not going to get one. So I thought about putting like a... Like that collar on it. That doesn't look... That doesn't look that bad at all. But I don't know, I kind of like the... Kind of like the blue it has. Move car to the test pad. Or no, the dynasty path. Crap. Dynasty's there. Test is over here. I don't know about y'all, but I really like this car now. Move car to the dyno. I don't know. I've always been a fan of these old cars. here yes all right so I said in the beginning that I think it's going to go to 550 and that's what I'm sticking with 550 maybe 600 but I doubt it 781 horsepower we almost doubled it if it was a hundred more we would have doubled it Oh my lord. Wow. I don't even know if I have wide enough tires for it now. I think the next car redo that we do, I think I'm going to buy one from the auction and do like a sports car. I don't know. It depends if I uh, go there after this live stream and I find a sports car I like. Let's take this thing out on the test path. See what it's like. 781 horsepower. Which I knew it was going to have a lot, but. I know it's got 700 horsepower. That means that this 1957 Chevy has as much horsepower as a 2021 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Or Dodge Charger Hellcat. Alright. Let's switch cameras to the free camera. Oh, 
shoot. Oh shoot. Um, let's uh, let's restart that. And I'm not even gonna touch the steering wheel at all. It just wants to go. We're gonna have to get some wider tires for it. Alright, let's return to the garage. I kind of expected that, but I didn't expect it to be like that. Now, which ones. Now, which one makes your tire wider? It's. I can't, I don't know if it's, um, the three digit number on the tire size refers as the width. All right, just making it sure. Uh, car lifter A. I really don't want to spend money on the rims again. So, actually, I really don't care. We're just gonna. Oh shoot! I totally forgot about that. We gotta put plates on it. Um. Actually, I just don't care. I just want to get this thing put on the road. Alright, so let's go back up to... 215s. Tire. Uh, let's do... Let's actually put some slick tires on it. We're going to put... Hmm. We'll just put the two plain Jane ones on the back. 15. And we'll do two four two fifty fives. And we'll put race tires on the front. How's that sound? Two oh five. I know this is gonna make the car look dumb, but I, I I would like to make the car at least a little bit drivable. I really don't think that's wide enough. That's as wide as the other tire almost. Let's go ahead and put the two front tires on. We gotta buy some more rims. I think I overdid it on the 315 on the width. God, that's wide. Actually, I don't know. We'll know when we get it on there, though. Because, I mean, that car kind of needs it though. I don't know if it needs that wide of a tire. Shoot. Balancing again. Uh, 
I don't even know what I'm even doing, to be honest. I guess I'll just balance the tires that need to be balanced. Alright, that's just the back tires, alright. So we'll take this tire off. Now let's see how ridiculous this looks. what this puppy looks like. Oh, I actually, oh, <laughs> it's inside the fender. That's great. That is great. The car's like leaning forward, but I'm sorry, but that's what we got to do. I mean, I can't really think about it. Um, is there anything I can... Wait, hold up. Settings. I need to change my mile, change it to miles per hour. Save game. And then we're gonna exit the main menu. And I'm gonna see if I can change it to uh, miles per hour. See, last time I messed with my settings, I should accidentally changed the lettering, the language to like Chinese or something like that. And I couldn't figure out what in the world I was doing. Cause I couldn't understand anything. Um, settings, game settings. Just play. There we go. All right. Continue. Go back to the garage. Let's test puppy. Let's test this puppy out son I probably won't do another live stream after this the only way that I will is if when I go to the market or the auction after this if uh, we gotta get a really good deal on a really good car when I say a really good car I mean like a Mustang or like a Mustang GT 500 or something like that or one of those per the one car that's like super fast. Alright, let's take it. Oh, to the test track. Shoot, I grabbed the wrong car. I'm so dumb. I need to just sell that car so it's out of my thing. Actually, we'll go and test drive it and then compare it to the old car. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. It's still mm -hmm. kilometers per hour. Okay. 
Okay, so this car is a newer car. And it does... Two... at 242 at most. I'm going to say 240 because that's, that's the last number I've seen. So 240. See what this old muscle car does. I want to compare horsepowers too. So this one has only half the horsepower of the other one. Alright. And this one has over half. Yeah, or almost over half. Muscle car. Let's see what this puppy does. I can't to hear it. Oh, it just sounds mean. Well, it's definitely faster than the other car. I want to see how fast I can get, I, I want to watch it from the side, and I want to watch it, see how fast it hits 100, or how fast it hits 200, 100 and 2 seconds, god, Three or three is the max that this one will go. God. So that was. Let's see. Three or three K. M H. Per, yeah. It is KPH. That's fast. I don't know what it is, but that's fast. sad part is is this car right here just because it's a Bentley will sell for 127 this one over here has almost twice the horsepower and in my opinion looks better and will only sell for 90 but we're not gonna sell this one but move car Oh guys, that's going to be the live stream. This is the car we end up coming out with. Uh, I kind of wanted to keep it the old looking style, but at the same time, 
Uh, it's got too much horsepower, so yeah. Uh, I know I forgot to do the interior. I'm gonna fix the interior as soon as I end this live stream, and then yeah. Well, if you like this car and you like uh, watching me rebuild cars, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what car you'd like me to do next, and I will see you guys in the next live stream.